concentrating on that and I come across this video and it's about a bunch of soldiers and they're singing this is the days of Elijah we've got to rejoice and be excited and you know something hit me because I was actually being a little bit sad because I had to leave Lexi's place and leave the kids I knew I had to things were getting to that point where it was time for uh, Brett to take over and and do what he thought was best and for me to move on and you know my heart was kind of heavy because I love these kids I really really do every kid that was there the new ones and the ones that have been there right from the beginning they took a big part of my heart and I love them and you know when Brett and I started this it was let's get the kids let's get the kids and and you know it's been a pleasure these last three months to really go and and to talk to the kids and you know I was feeling kind of down and you know I had been going over some stuff and I was like, oh, you know, you know, sometimes moving on is difficult, but sometimes it has to be done. And I spoke with a lady this morning. Hang on, i got to have a sip. Oh, that is so good coffee. <laughs> but I spoke with a woman this morning, and, and she was saying, you know, there's some things going on, like, in my mind, do I do this? In my heart, do I do this? And I'm being pulled, kind of. That's, that's kind of what I got out of it. She was being pulled. Like, should she go this way or should she go this way? And, you know, I said to her, I said, follow your heart. Follow your heart. Our heads sometimes, especially women. Now, I don't know if men are like this, but women go like, well, you know, if I do this, this is going to happen and that's going to happen. And maybe I'll hurt this one and maybe I'll hurt that one. And so we get all this confusion setting in, in the mind. But when we say, okay, this is what we're supposed to do. We pray. We ask God to give us some leading. Okay, that's the first thing. You pray. You always pray about everything. God, give us some leading. Let me know what God wants us to do. When we find that out, it's in our heart. We feel it in our heart. And we know 9.9 .9 times out of 10, we know the right path to take, don't we? We sure do. Come on, don't, don't play the game and say, well, Anne, that's not maybe true. It is true. We do know. We do know the right way to take because our heart tells us. We need to follow our heart. We need to follow the peace that goes with that, okay? If you hear from God or, or you have this thing in your heart and, and, and it's like maybe it's a new min ministry that's starting up within you. Maybe it's a new direction. Maybe it's it's going to a different church. Maybe, who knows? Who knows? Maybe you're sitting in church every Sunday and you are just getting a sore butt. You're getting totally fed up with what you're hearing. And every Sunday you walk out of there saying, oh, maybe I should move. The head says, maybe I should move. Maybe I should do this. I don't know if I do this. You know, maybe the congregation is going to get mad at me. Maybe the pastor is going to get mad at me. And you go through all this turmoil. But your heart says you're not happy. Okay? Your heart says you're not happy and it's time to move on. When you feel that inside, you've got to follow that. Follow your heart. That's where peace comes from. And, and you know, I started listening to this. This is the day of Elijah. You know, let's get that inner strength. Where does the inner strength come from? It only comes from Jesus Christ. Okay? When I heard that song, I was like, yes, God, you are alive. You are living. You know, there's people out here that are serving a God that's dead. Or maybe a little statue or something. Can you imagine? Like, okay, example. Da -da. People will bow down to something like this and say, oh, and pray to it. 
Oh. And say, oh, please help me. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Throw it in the fire. It's going to burn, right? And, or throw it away and it might crack. But the thing is, the thing is, the God that I serve is a living God. He's alive and he wants to help you. He wants to meet every one of your needs. He, he's saying, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. All you got to do is turn to me. That's it. Plain and simple. Turn to me. All, that's all you got to do is just turn to him. And he will meet all your needs. He will give you that joy that you're searching for. He will give you that peace in your heart that you're longing to have. He will be that relationship that you're searching for. Okay? Come on, ladies. Fess up here. We're all searching for relationships, aren't we? Uh-huh. I heard a whole bunch of you say, yeah. Okay. That relationship feeling inside of you can only be met through Jesus Christ first. When it's met through him and you have that peace inside and you have that security and that joy and that confidence that you are going to follow Christ. You have that, that, that feeling of, I belong. I finally belong. And what happens to us is when we have that feeling, we give off an air. You know, we give off a, a, a presence. When we go around people, they're saying, wow, she's confident. You know, she, she, she's got something I want, right? And, and, and that's the secret. That is the secret to everything, to, to knowing Jesus Christ, asking him to come into your life. Lord, change me. I know what Anne is without Jesus Christ in my life, and I am not a very nice person, okay? Now, there's some that still think I'm still there, okay? <laughs> I get it all the time from a certain few people. But you know, say, yeah, right, Anne. It's not true. I, I do know what I am without Jesus, but I know what I am with Jesus Christ inside me. I'm a new creation. I'm a new creation. All things have passed away, and everything is new in my life. Everything is new in my life. I am taken care of because God is with me. God says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. He'll never turn his back on you. He loves you. And I just ask you today, I'm going to quit because I don't know how long I speak. I can go on and on, can I? But when I heard that song and those soldiers singing, it was like, yes, God, I am so glad that I know Jesus Christ. I am so glad that it's just like he gives me all my needs. He meets all my needs. I'm excited today because I serve a God that's living, a, 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 a loving God that is alive. He's not in the grave anymore. He rose. He is alive, and he's out there to meet your need, just like he meets my needs. He loves you. He cares what you're going through. He cares. He sees your tears. Can you imagine? He sees every little tear that you cry. He, he, he feels your pain. All you got to do is turn to him and say, Jesus, come into my life. I'm a sinner. Forgive me, Father. Forgive me. Come into my life and change me. Take, take over. Do something with my life. You know, Anne here, I tried so hard for many years, many years, to make things happen in my life, to be happy. And I never was. I never was. I kept getting into things that were just not good, and I was never happy. My happiness now comes from Jesus Christ. And I love him today. And I'm not ashamed to say I love him because I do. And I just ask anybody that is out there, you need prayer, contact us. If you need any kind of help, contact us. We're here to listen. I'm going to put my website at the end of this and my email. Please get hold of us and we'll, we'll pray for you. And we, we will help you if you need books, whatever you need, contact us. Have a blessed day. and May God richly, richly bless you today. God bless you.